Hey everyone. So welcome back to my channel. Um, I, you know, I y'all know I say it, it's been a minute on and on and on and on. So, so I want to talk about um the pros and cons of a woman making the first move. Okay, so I consider myself a little bit of an expert in this field. Um, because from you know personal experience, I used to a long, long time ago, and I mean a long time ago, in terms of relationships, I used to be really, really shy, right? And a lot of that was built around the belief system that I had and that was ingrained for me um, as a child, right? And so we won't talk about the scriptures that were used. Y'all already know it, and some of y'all probably put them down in the comment section, so we already know what they are. And so that was like what was ingrained in me, right? But as I began to separate myself from that and begin to explore myself and who I was attracted to and what I wanted in a partner in a relationship, I realized that that weight until somebody finds me approach just wasn't didn't fit my personality at all okay so i learned to not just be approachable but how to approach people that i was interested in and so first let's go with the pro pros right for me the pros were I felt more in control. I felt more in control about the experience. I felt more in control about the quality of a person that I was getting to associate myself with. I felt um, as if I wasn't wasting my time as much because there were already some initial qualities about a person that I may have been aware of that would draw me into their space in the first place. And so, you know, those were things that I, um, I really, really was like happy that I could move forward with in terms of this, this space. Um, other things were, it was, for me, it was exciting. And I know you don't want to think about, oh my gosh, but it was, it was exciting to get to know people and not just wait on the sidelines wondering if someone would come my way, I would go and put myself in someone's way and say, hey, how you doing? My name is Kwanda, last name Roberts. Okay, so Charlie Wilson, if y'all don't get the reference. Okay, so, you know, for me, that fit my personality a lot. And I felt comfortable with realizing I didn't always have to wait for someone else to make a move in order for me to have a dating experience. And so I wanted to have um, a more active and proactive approach. And so for me, those were all the benefits. And, and that's just a brief synopsis of the benefits. You know, it's like the screening process for me was a little bit easier, even though, you know, there were additional screenings that you have to go through. Um, but the initial was, was, was better because I was in the driver's seat and, you know, determining the location. Now, these cons, let me tell you right off bat, tell you right off bat, if you are not okay with rejection, this ain't the path for you. This ain't the path for you. If, if you are not okay with rejection, this is not the path for you. Because when you approach people, not everyone is going to accept your approach. And you also have to be mindful um, how people may 
view your approach because some people are traditional in a sense um however you define it tra traditional they have certain beliefs of how things are supposed to be in order and if you come across someone you know they may respectfully decline they may rudely decline they may say uh, negative things towards you or about you and make assumptions and things of that nature and i realized even when people approached me and they realized I wasn't a good fit for them, that was still an aspect of rejection that I had to deal with and that I could deal with. And so my mindset was either way, in either side of the coin, you're going to experience some form of rejection. Um, you may, excuse me, you may experience some form of rejection. And so, but if you are the person that initiates the move, it may just become more abrupt and right there in that moment. Now, this is the funny thing about, uh, and I'll give a particular and speak as general as I possibly can here about a particular instance where someone did, um, not necessarily fully reject me, but there was like some rejection there. But it was after a while that they had initially accepted, um, you know, my interest in them. And what I found out is they were talking, the individual was talking to their group. Um, in terms of in terms of me and y'all it wasn't the guys or the masculine presenting folks that had something negative to say about my approach it was the women the women were the ones that was list that was telling this person Oh, if you do this with her, oh, she does this, you know, that's not, a, it was the women who were telling this person negative things, negative opinions, and providing negative insight with regards to my approach and what that may mean about me. And that I was shocked. I have to say, y'all, I was shocked. I was like, wait, what? Really? I was like, Wow. And a part of that goes into the next con is that if the person rejects you, right? And or and let's not use because rejection seems so hard, harsh, but it is rejection. Um, the person is not interested, or after a point in time say that they're not interested, right? If for some reason, and I do not understand this, understand this, particularly if you are a woman, if you continue to engage with that person, such as speak to them, say, hello, how are you doing? That person assumes that you're still trying to get at them. Not that you respect them and respected the boundaries that they said and say, no, I'm not interested, but they assume that you are continuing to try. Now that I would say right there is going to be one of your biggest things. And that's necessary to people. But if you continue to be cordial for towards that person, there may be the assumption that your cordialness isn't because you're respecting their boundaries, but because you're still interested in them, which is you know, I can't cuss that black my video, which is, you know, BS. You know, someone saying that they're not interested, I'm, I'm, a, I've always been okay with that. The whole, um, I know some people are thinking, well, somebody I think you're a hoe. Let me tell you, people don't think what they think about you, regardless if they know what you're doing and when they don't know what you're doing. I mean, at the end of the day, I had decided that I wasn't gonna let what people thought I was doing stop me from doing what I wanted to do, you know? And um, I mean, at the end of the day, for me, the last person that I approached is sitting right over there.
and then right back. <laughs> he's sitting right. He's sitting right over there, and that was over two years ago. So, um, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, at the end of the day, I, you know, it, you just have to be true to what fits well with you and your energy and your spirit. Again, if you're not a person that is good with rejection, this 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 may not be the better option for you. And if you are and you feel like this is what you want to do to move forward, you know, just be yourself. I wouldn't try to fake. If you're if you if you don't have that life for the party um personality, you don't you don't need to force yourself to have it. I don't have it. And you know, my I DM'd him on Instagram <laughs> after seeing his picture. I said, huh, he's fine. <laughs> and you know, I got them digits. It wasn't that. I mean, I fought. You didn't well he did fight because He's he's older than I am, and so he's a little more traditional. And he was like, "I'm meeting some girl on Instagram." So you sound like I'm easy. <laughs> you know, you're not. I didn't say you were easy. <laughs> but yeah, but that's all I got to say on it. Um, I'll be back next Friday, though.